In the last 10 years, we've only had two surefire headline grabbers in our business, Warren Buffett and Elon Musk. Got nothing to do? Find something to say about either one of these guys. That's the easy way to attract eyeballs and keep your journalism job. The coverage has been encased in awe. You want to get right with Buffett. You want to be on the same side as Musk. Getting right with Buffett means loving his annual letter, no matter what, and recognizing the sweet, generous pilgrimage to Omaha, where folks can still eat, seize candies, and enjoy all that folksy wisdom. Pure joy. Everybody loves Buffett. Then there's Musk, and he's a different kind of billionaire. There's an awkward dynamic when the press covers him because it's all love or hate. When Tesla's stock is going up, everybody, especially Wall Street, loves the guy. As long as his stock's headed in the right direction, it's pure praise. He's a genius. His cars are phenomenal. Tesla's not even a car company. It's a tech company on wheels. Cybertruck, bulletproof. Look out, F-150. The Rockets, Twitter, now X. No problem for Musk. He isn't bipolar. He's tripolar. He can handle it. Oh, but when the stock's going down, like right now, suddenly everybody has a lot of criticism. All we hear is that uh, Tesla's cars are coming down in price. Chinese competitors slicing into their sales, maybe permanently, because Musk can't deliver a low-cost model. Hertz has too many of them. Can't get rid of them. Cybertruck? Can't sell them. Bulletproof aspects? Less useful than the F-150. It's kind of an armored pickup Lamborghini. Totally unacceptable for small, medium-sized business owners. And Musk seems completely distracted by the collapse of X, the artist formerly known as Twitter. You hear he's obsessed with himself, the Kardashian of technology. He's a troubled man. So what's correct? How should the media approach Musk? Look, unlike Warren Buffett, it is a tough call. Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has so many levers that it's truly magnificent. At its core, it's an insurance company, a good one, which nobody in Wall Street really cares about. But the business is essential because all auto insurance companies seem to do is raise prices. We saw that with the CPI this morning. And Buffett's Geico is the cheapest and the best. How about Berkshire's portfolio? Apple turned out to be a terrific buy. American Express has taken off. Occidental Petroleum, wow, right at the bottom. A railroad, Burlington Northern, which is still loved, even though it's doing not as well as it should be right now. It can only get better. He's got a terrific pipeline network when those things are suddenly in demand. And, yes, he did buy Japan at the lows. The man's bulletproof. But Musk, because none of his other companies have come public, the man does seem as a one-trick pony, and the trick's getting old. With the downgrades and price target cuts, the long knives are really out for Musk. They obviously never liked him. They only liked that Tesla stock was a juggernaut. He's always treated the street with contempt. Well, right back at you. The former sycophants in the media suddenly don't know what to do. If they turn on him, they'll never talk to him again, and they'll lose their ability to generate page views. They're joined at the hip, but maybe the hip needs a replacement. My view. Look, even when Tesla's business is faltering and the stock is going down, I always caveat that by reminding you that Elon Musk is brilliant. But now there are overtones that he's lost his touch or maybe become more of an evil genius, which I think, by the way, is unfair. But life's unfair. At the end of the day, though, these two men are defined by their stocks. And Buffett is killing it. And Musk is being killed. We're rubbernecking. I say that we have an overdose of coverage on Musk because he makes the irrelevant relevant and the prosaic prurient. We actually ought to have more coverage on Buffett. The guy's running an empire with truly fabulous lieutenants. His lasting legacy may be that he sure knows how to pick successors. Let me wrap this up by saying that famously, we are in a what have you done for me lately business. Buffett does it endlessly. Musk, nothing that can make you money right now. And no matter what, to the small minds of Wall Street, that's really all that it's about. I like to say there's always a bull market summer. I promise you I'll find it just for you right here on Mad Money. I'm Jim Cramer. See you tomorrow. Last call starts now. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.